We got 29 orders going out for $682. Let's get it, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a what so video. Got a few items going out. Wanted to share them with you guys. Maybe you guys can learn a thing or two um, as far as brand wise goes. The $682 is not net. I want to make that very, very clear for the people that are watching this. This is not what I take home. I work at about 55% profit margin. This is one day of sales. So it's about $350 or something like that that goes into my pocket uh, at the end of the day. So this is still not bad for a day's work of profit. Keep in mind, I'm still in grow mode. So the only way to go is up from here and Q4 is here. So hopefully we're going to see an increase in sales uh, throughout the day uh, and uh, an increase in the money that goes in my bank account at the end of the day. So without further ado, let's get into these orders, guys. So the first item is going to be this Harley belt, uh, leather belt sold for $20. The next item going out are these dance goes. If you guys watched my last day in the life video, these are the shoes that I use to explain the format that I take my photos in. Uh, they sold for $20, I believe. These sold for $20. The liner is distressed. Uh, the, the little leather, fake leather stuff is falling off. So I didn't list them very high and there are some scuffs on the toe box. So $20 is okay with me for them to sell as fast as they sold too. So these shoes right here are the next item going out. $19.50 on a 22% off coupon. Uh, so pretty quick guys. Crocs are my number one shoe selling uh, brand right now. And then behind that is uh, Dance Ghost. So really glad to get these going i sold this pair of north face fleece pants for 18 dollars. sold these levi's 569 for a best offer of 10 bucks normally i don't sell them for 10 dollars. i just accepted that offer to get stuff sold so this is a vintage nike shirt uh i don't know if you could see there you go the GoPro causes a glare, but I sold it for $9. The buyer messaged me before he ever sent an offer and asked, hey, will you take nine bucks for this? I was like, yeah, why not? So $9 sell, ship first class. I'll make a little bit off the shipping, so it's all right. Sold this Talbot sweater here for $8. Uh, it was on an offer that I sent. Just trying to get the ball rolling. Um, I don't know if you guys saw I don't know if you guys saw, but in one of my most recent videos, I think it was uh, the day in the life video. Uh, whenever I'm trying to hit my sales mark for the day, the more behind I am on reaching my $500 daily sales go, uh, the more aggressive the offers I'll send. So this offer was on 33% and uh, it got the ball rolling at least, you know, $8 is not the ideal sell, but most of my sales are bread and butter, uh, low dollar sales like that, and they all add up. It might not be the business model that you guys want to do, but it works for me. Got this American Eagle men's like Hawaiian button up shirt sold for $15.60. This is a Fainted Glory shirt. Let me try and show you guys a little bit better. It's uh, like a blouse of some sort. Um, Sold for $12 on the best offer. I got a bunch of this stuff in a bulk buyout. Faded Glory is not something that I usually pick up. I actually can't stand Faded Glory because it's everywhere. But the way that it's been selling, guys, makes me wonder if I should start picking it up. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys sell Faded Glory. These are Eddie Bauer flannel line jeans. Um, $20 sale here pretty glad to see these go um i picked them up when it was just a bit warmer outside so i didn't know how long it was going to take to sell but here we are a uh, few weeks later and a 20 dollar bill out of them i had them listed for a little bit higher somebody sent me a 20 dollar offer so yeah I'll, I'll take that for sure this is another item i got in that bulk buyout it is hillard and hansen i had never even heard of this brand before i i did that bulk buyout uh this stuff is vintage like y2k era uh, at least this is. Um, I don't know about all of it. Uh, that sold for $15 on the best offer. I had it listed a tad bit higher. 
I don't really know where to price the stuff at in the market because there's not a lot of uh, research able to be done since the stuff is vintage and it's not a big seller. Um, I didn't want to list it, but since I bought it, I figured I'd give it a try. $15 is an okay sale with me. Uh, I'll never pick the brand up again because it sells through very slowly, but I'm just glad to see the stuff being sold. So this is an Ann Taylor Loft blouse sold for $15 plus shipping. This Carhartt shirt sold for $16 plus shipping. And it's got like some distress on it somewhere. You can't see because of the way it's folded up in there. But there's paint and distress on this and it's still sold for $16. Flannel season is definitely in full effect. So hopefully the buyer is pretty happy with this item. Maybe you guys saw me pick up these Dickies uh, double knee pants. Probably two Ben's videos ago. Can't really remember guys, but um, these sold for $16. I can't remember exactly what the first pair sold for, but a guy in the comment section told me that these are selling for, no, those are call hearts. But I'm just glad to see these go. This is the second pair of two that I got, I believe. And uh, pretty glad to see that they sold as fast as they did because Dickies is one of those brands, man, where it's like hit or miss. It could sell immediately or it could take months to sell. And these actually sold fairly quick, so I'm very happy about that. Sold these Victoria's Secret pink uh, sleep pants. They're like a little fair aisle pattern. Uh, sold them for nine bucks. Victoria's Secret doesn't make you rich. Sold this thrashed Eddie Bauer t-shirt for $6.24. One of the things that I pick up are like destination type items, shirts, hoodies, things like that. This one is a Santa Monica, California hoodie and it's sold on a best offer of $14, I believe. Let's see here. $14.50. I had it listed for probably $25 just to see what you know the market is doing on it uh usually stuff like this guys i'm not gonna hang on to it it's so um niche that you know why hold on to something like this when i can find it in abundance it's everywhere in the bins because people never pick this type of stuff up so i'll just go ahead and get rid of it for 14 dollars. That's, that's okay with me so this j crew sweater for 15 dollars so this little tunic j Joe. Uh, eight dollars nothing special guys do you guys remember the territory ahead tribal corduroy uh button up shirts and then the other one was not corduroy but it was also tribal well i sold the other one for thirty dollars and then this one sold for thirty eight dollars and fifty cents uh pretty quick sales guys what was that like two weeks ago maximum so probably only been listed for a week uh as you can see this was the box that it was in i've only got eight more boxes of inventory i list three a day so literally only listed a few days ago and it sold for 38 dollars. so quick flip never had even heard of this brand before guys so if you see it territory ahead pick it up guys pretty good so old navy corduroy pants these are women's these sold for 13 dollars I sold this Angels and Diamonds shirt. It's from the Buckle. Uh, I picked this up last Monday, uh, so a week ago. Uh, today's Tuesday. I picked this up a week ago on my last binge trip. Uh, I've sold this brand before, so I knew about the uh, brand being an okay seller. It sells quick, but not for a lot of money. This one sold for $14. But hey, $14 for not even being listed for a couple days, I'll take it. Levi's $5.59 sold for $16. This is a Maurice's brand chambray like denim shirt sold for, let's see, $15? Yep, $15 this sold. This is a brand I never heard of. It's called Miss Look. It's a cat sweater. If you can see, it's like a cat stuck in some blinds. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so... Surprised that it sold as fast as it did. Literally, it's only been listed since uh, Sunday, I think. And uh, sold already for, what did it sell for? $15.60, guys. Cat sweaters. This, this is the brand, Miss Look. People really do love cat sweaters, man. I'm really coming to find out that these types of sweaters that I've been passing on, like cat sweaters and just granny-looking sweaters, that stuff sells, guys. 
I sold this Eddie Bauer kids jacket. It's uh, a Sharpa aligned flannel button up for $14. It's only been listed for like two days too. Sold this Marmot jacket for a uh, best offer of $20. $20. I had it listed for $25. A guy messaged me and asked me if it was a model something, something or another. And I was like, honestly, you know, I, I don't know. He's like, can you send me a picture of the there's like multiple tags on, on this item, <clears throat> like three or four tags stacked on top of each other. And he said, can you send me a picture of the tag, the very bottom tag? I was at the binge yesterday when he sent this uh, uh, message. So I told him that I wouldn't be able to get back to him until today. So he sent me an offer of 15 bucks and was like, uh, here's my offer for 15 because I don't know what model it is. Then I told him back, I messaged him back and I was with a $20 offer. And I said, just because you doesn't, just because you don't know what model it is doesn't devalue the item. Um, and so he sent a message back at $17 or he sent an offer back at $17. So um, we got into a, a bidding war. You know, I wasn't going any lower than $20 just because I didn't know the model of the jacket when I could just wait a day to give him the information he wanted. And then he may pay full price. Who knows? I don't know. So I just I declined the offer, which I rarely do. Uh, because I feel like that messes up your algorithm. Uh, it tells eBay you don't want to make sales when you decline offers. So um, normally I try to avoid that. So I go on about my day. Several hours later, the guy messaged me, sends me the $20 offer back and then messages me and says, hey, I sent the $20 offer with... Uh, which is what you which you had sent me earlier. So I went ahead and I accepted it and uh, the guy paid and jacket going out. I told him I do offer free returns. So if it turns out to not be the item that you want, just send it back, no hassle, you know what I mean? And I'll just relist the item, somebody will buy it again. All right guys, these are the last item that I have on hand. They are a pair of cool, K-U-H-L. I'll pop it up on the screen. Hiking pants, the back of them, was shredded a little bit not 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 shredded maybe that's a harsh term but they were distressed i'll use uh so normally those pants would go for like 35 you know maybe even higher dollars uh but with them being distressed on the back uh, i listed them for 20 bucks somebody sent me an offer for 15 and i accepted and we just sold something else mcdonald's timeless element pants let's see uh I'm, t I'm trying to tell you guys, man, employee stuff sells, uh, might not sell for a boatload of cash. Definitely, definitely sells. $64.79. All right, let's see here. $64.79. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you guys watch, if you guys watch my videos, you would have seen me pick this up. And this sold for $15, guys. Timeless Element McDonald's shirt. So the last item to sell is I don't have with me, but it's these Levi's silver tab jeans. I had them listed for 50 bucks. Uh, someone did send me an offer for, I think it was for $30. So uh, I accept it. Yeah, so the guy sent me an offer for $30 and I accept it. This is the third time I've sold these jeans. Each time I've sold them, they've been on uh offer for around 30 to 35 dollars the highest i did have an offer uh was 38 bucks but that buyer never paid so these sold for 30 dollars. the guy actually paid so i'm going to get them out of here the thing is though is they're at my house uh i don't have them with me they're at my house because they did get returned from the last guy that bought them and returned them he said he just didn't like them so whatever as you can see they sold again so yeah we're gonna get these items packed up now guys and i'll be right back so these are all the items i got going out guys uh i do have to hurry up and get these items packed uh because i'm getting ready to install another shelf over here so i don't have a bunch of time to uh film this segment of the video because i'm actually simultaneously filming a day in the life video as we speak so this what's up video is going to get cut short in order to give credit to the day in the life video so thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys learned some new brands catch you guys on the next one but until then let's make this cash guys peace